Pokemon Essentials version 17 God Mode. Okay, so first step is going to be copying the Nirvana map from version 18. So let's just do that first. And in order to do that, I need to first start the project of the game for version 17. After that, I will start opening the game for version 18, the pre-made one. Now I'm just going to copy this map from the version 18 and then just going to paste here and it might be possible that the map looks broken on your uh, game so what you need to do is just go through the three layers and just fix them because i'm not going to be teaching you how to fix them if you just want to work with the map then you can just select a single tile and then apply it to uh, everything here and then you can just remove every single thing that's in layer 2 and layer 3. That should work if you just want the map and don't care about how the map looks. Anyways, so the next step is start creating the required variables, which you have to do by going to this particular box that is on 14, 23. Then just double click it and then click on this particular arrow in, in front of uh, variables. Then you can see the last variable is 100 then you need to change the max and add 4 to that so that's 104 just click that click the first one apply ok and do the same thing again here next up is going to start the script copying so you have to go to the gm toolkit and then just go to the script copier after that open a terminal here and then just type python and after that script copy once that starts this game is not version 19 or above so we are just going to press enter because no is the default output i mean the input then we have the check variable which was 101 the first variable that we initialized so if you added four then the first one is going to be the variable after that we have the map id so you can see the map id here which is 32 in my case so i'm just going to add that after that x and y coordinates so the x and y coordinates are for this particular box where the player will be teleported to so that's 14 comma 23 14 and 23 next up is the initialized value and module input so what you need to do is go to the scripts through this box and then find the p systems controls and then you can just see this module input here and you can see the last initialized value which is 29 in our case but it is not necessarily uh, going to be the case that this is all sorted so it is sorted in my case but it is it can be possible that it is not sorted so what you need to do is just look for the largest value in these in my case it is 29 so i'm just going to use that so i'll just type 29 press enter and the copying scripts is started now so first of all we are going to copy the script page then when you press one and enter it will be copied to your clipboard so what you need to do is just go to the bottom of the scripts and then just add another script i'm just going to make it look a little good so i'm just adding random uh scripts here so i'll just name it god mode scripts and you don't need to worry about the name of the script here it does not matter what you name them so just go here and paste what is stored here click on apply and before i continue i will uh, i thought that it would be better that i explain the scripts uh, while pasting them so i'll just ex explain the god mode scripts first so the god mode scripts are basically the main scripts that are used by the god mode so these two are basically there for checking whether or not this particular uh, variable exists in the game or not because version 18 actually uh, uses maximum level with the underscore so if the underscore exists then we are going to be using the maximum level without the underscore and if you are wondering why i did that so basically in the nirvana map we have a couple of npcs that are using these particular um variables and if these don't exist then the nirvana npcs will break so what i did was if basically we have uh, underscore variables then we are going to also initialize the ones without 
the underscore. The same thing for bag max per slot. Both of these are done just so that the Nirvana variables don't crash. Next up is going to be the Pokemon choose ID. So in case of choose ID for Pokemon IT, uh, item and move, the basically the working is exactly same. So we have a number input. So you can see the template of the number input in each of them. So the only thing that changed between them is going to be the max number, which is the PB species dot max value in case of Pokemon and PB items dot max value in case of items and PB moves dot max value in case of move IDs. So the rest of the things are here similar, uh, which are only used for making that particular menu that gives you the option to add any number to it. So this is just the message that comes along with asking for the number. And what these three functions do is just return the number that you input. So if you input one, two, three, then this function will return one, two, three. We will be using these three later. So let's just continue with the scripts. PB teleport is the function that basically sends the, the player to the Nirvana map. So the Nirvana map is stored in the 101 variable. So 101 to 104 variables that we initialized earlier were only will only be used for Nirvana. So 101 is for basically checking whether or not the player is currently inside the Nirvana map or not. 102 contains the map that the, the player was inside before they came to the Nirvana map. And 103 and 104 are the coordinates of the player in the previous map before they came to Nirvana. So what this is basically doing is basically saving the last location of the player before they went to nirvana and after that what they are doing is basically changing the map to 32 which is in our case the nirvana map then we are setting the players new x and y coordinates which are 14 and 23 that we set earlier and game direction 2 basically means that the, the player will be uh, facing north uh, when they are teleported to this map after that, this will basically refresh the game and after that it will say it will store the fact that the player is currently in Nirvana. So if game variables 101 is 1, then the player is in Nirvana, otherwise the player is not. Teleport back is just the opposite of that. So what we are doing is just basically using the stored variables to change the player's current location to the location that the player was before they went to the Nirvana map. Direction is again north facing so we are changing the direction of the player to north and after that we are just transferring the player just like we did in PB teleport. So this is just the reverse of that but we are not saving anything except for the fact that the player is not in Nirvana anymore. After that we have the default frame rate which is going to be used for PB god speed so this one is only used for saving the default rate so for example the game comes with 40 uh, fps of frame rate then this variable will store that because we need to toggle between them so if the current frame rate is equal to the default frame rate then we are going to multiply by multiply that by 4 so it will change to 160 and if it is not the default frame rate then we will go back to the default frame rate that's pretty simple i think so next one is going to be the Pokemon toggle debug and that basically debugs uh, toggles the debug. So if the debug is on, then it will change to false. If it is off, then it will change to true. That's pretty basic. And these are just for showing you the message. These are not necessary. Anyways, next is PB instant party heal. What this does is basically goes through every single Pokemon in your team, which is which you can see here. And after that, it will use the heal function, which is already in the game. I have not made that. And after that, it will just, just, just tell you that the old Pokemons were heals. Next up is going to be the PB new select style. This will be used when you go selecting an ID or a Pokemon. So what this does is basically checks whether or not the file exists. If it exists, then it will open the file and check if the file contains one or zero so if the file exists so first of all this part only checks whether or not the file exists if it does not exist then it will create a new file and then after that oh my bad 
and then after that it will basically put one one means enabled so the id mode will be enabled if it is one and then it will just close the file and re uh, trigger this particular function so this will this particular part is only for uh, stopping any errors and then what this mainly does is basically gets the file and then checks whether or not it is one so if it is one then it will return true otherwise it will return false so basically this function tells whether or not you want to use the id style or the list style so one is id style and any other thing is list style next up is going to be the toggle select style so the file basically contains whether or not you want to use the id or list style so what we are doing here is opening the file and if it is one then changing it back to zero if it is anything else then changing it back to one so basically it changes between id and list style which will be read by this particular function next up is adding storage boxes so you can already see that there is another number input and as you can see this all part is basically asking for a number and after you give it a number it will use this particular function uh, which will add those boxes now this function is not a default function so we will be adding those later get all pokemon is again another number input so this is getting the level of those pokemons and then after that this will just return the level so this is oh, this is not a function for getting all the pokemons this is just getting the level at which you want all the pokemons the main function is here so what this does is first asks you for the level which will be done through this function this is another number input and after that after that gets the pokemon uh, level it basically goes through every single pokemon species and then just starts giving you those pokemons so this is the pokemon's add silent uh, function which will not give you any prompt so it will just add them one by one and not say anything about each of them so that's the god mode scripts let's go to the next one so the next one is going to be the pause menu scripts let's uh, start the pause menu scripts and then first we have the initialize new options let's press one press enter go back and here you need to find the pause menu so here we have the pause menu if the pause menu is different from this then we have probably something else that you need to work on but if but most of the games use the similar style of pause menus so the first one when you copied it so the initialize new options you need to uh, paste them below these particular lines so when we have all of these uh, in one line you just need to go to the last one press enter and paste whatever is in the clipboard after that you need to go to the line which says this so the debug so basically these lines are adding the menu item this one was basically starting the menu item so this uh, basically creates the item and this one will add it to the menu so go to the debug line press enter go to this press 2 which is the adding menu options press enter and then go back to this and paste you can apply that now and then what you need to do is go inside the loop do and inside this we have the first if you just need to look for the next lf so i'll just go down and you can see else if we have the else if here and you can just press enter before that else if and if it auto intent uh, indents it so you can just remove that indent it should be uh, at the correct indent here or you can what you can also do one thing so when you get to this else if you can just go to the last end and just press enter and just remove one space after that you can just go to this and select the third option press enter it will be copied and then just paste it here so these particular ones are telling what to do when that option is selected so when the teleport option is selected then it will be pb teleport otherwise it will be teleport back so in this case what we are doing is just uh, telling the game what to do when those options are selected and whether or not teleport or teleport back will be shown is done here so if 101 is 0 then it will say that we need to teleport otherwise it will say teleport back you already know what's 101 anyways let's go back and the menu pause menu is done so let's exit the pause menu scripts and after that we will go back 
to the control codes let's go to the control code by pressing 3 and press enter then we are going to use the first one which is the key press actions and then just go back to the game and also you can see basically some of them have the option of where to paste them so currently we do not have them so i'm explaining whatever to do so let's go back here go to the bottom of the script already also it's not necessary that it will be at the bottom of the script you need to find pokemon systems so something like this now here what you need to do is go to the bottom select this particular part so uh, the whole trigger for f7 and then just paste whatever is copied you can just apply that here now whatever this is doing is basically when f7 is um, pressed we will be using the toggle debug mode function when alt is pressed then we will be toggling pb debug uh, the god speed f6 is for teleport or teleport back which also is checking whether or not you are already in nirvana or not so 101 means you are not in nirvana you will be using the teleport button and similarly for the teleport back f10 is for instant party heal and f11 is for select style so this will toggle the select style next up you need to go to back and just press 2 press enter and now it will be telling you what to do so you can see we need to go to the initialization uh, script page so that's usually pokemon controls which you can see we have something like which is p systems control now again it does not necessarily mean that this will be named the same but the insides will be same so you need to just look for module input also you can use control shift f to go through all of these and just search for module input for example and you can see we have P pokemon systems control we can just click on jump and it will take me to here now here what you need to do is just go to the last initialized value which in my case is f9 just press enter and paste whatever is copied into in your clipboard now i'm just adding these spaces for uh, looks it does not matter if those spaces are there or not i'm just gonna apply and then just go back here now here we have something that's different from version 16 but it is not a lot different so what you need to do is just go back here and it says that we need to press enter when you're done so let's just press enter now it has copied the new thing so we just need to go back here and you need to go to this particular part uh, now this is looking different from version 16 uh, if you have seen the video if you have not you need to see that now let's just paste whatever we have copied now here what you need to do is just remove all of this space extra space and then add a semicolon and then add spaces to make it look like whatever it is above so i'll just make it look like the things that are above see that's that's the only difference between that and i think you can just keep it like that but i'm just gonna change them so i'll just click on apply and now we are done with the control choices so we are gonna use zero now next we are going to go to the pbs extract page now this page uh, i'll just first uh, copy it and just we need to go to the wherever you have pasted the god mode scripts and then just add another script below it and name it pbs extractor or maybe pbs extract scripts now here you need to just paste that this one is basically doing the extraction of the ids that are going to be used in the id selection so again what we are doing is just going through every single of pokemon in the game and then getting the name of the pokemon and then saving it using the uh, so basically we are saving it along with the ids of the pokemons inside a file that is inside the ids folder we are doing the same for items and we are doing the same for move list also this is also making the trigger file that we uh, talked about earlier so this basically creates the trigger file and adds one to it so the default option is using the ids next up is going to be the cast trainer pokemon so just press six and press enter and you can see there the information is here so what you need to do is just look for these things but i'll tell you what to do just press ctrl shift f and then type here is snag ball 
After you do that, you can see we have a Poké Battle Battle here. So we need to go to this particular line, just jump to it. And you can see we have if opponent is blah, 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 this, which matches with the line that's given here. Okay, so go back to this, just uh, go one line above this and press enter, paste whatever is copied and then just uh, change the indentation of these three lines to one more step. You can just select them and press tab. After that, just uh, go back, go down one line and just type end. Press apply, go back to the scripts. And now we need to add the storage boxes. So we need to just press seven, press enter. And now you can see we need to go to the Pokemon storage class, Pokemon storage and add it to the class. So again, we need to, we can just go through the scripts here and find it. So it's usually just something like storage or P screen storage. You can just find it here, but we, okay. So it's not that easy to find, I guess. So what I'll do, I'll just control shift F again, and I need to search for class pokemon storage after that we have this pokemon underscore storage class pokemon storage just click on jump and here what you need to do is just go below and look for the max boxes so here we have the max boxes after that just click on the line below it and just paste whatever is copied so this function is the function that will allow you to add a new box to the game so what this is doing is basically adding a new element to the boxes array or the stack. I'm not sure which is which one is it, but which, whichever it is, this function is responsible for adding a new storage box to the game. After that is done, I'm just going to save it once. So after that, I think we are done with uh, all of these. So I'll just minimize that for now. Now I need to do one more thing. I'll just go to the scripts again. I'll go to the bottom and go to the P system systems. Now here I need to add something to the F8 one. Uh, so basically we need to add PB extract PBS. Uh, let me just check the function name. So I'll just go back to the God mode scripts. Oh, I mean the PBS extract scripts and we have PB extract PBS. Now that one is the one that we need to use here. So PB extract PBS and I have commented out the PB screen capture. So we need to first run this uh, in order to make the IDs. So I'll just click on apply and okay. Now the God mode is still not complete. We need to go back to the script editor and let me just see this. So we have some debug changes to do. So we have the debug changes for Pokemon item and move modification. So I'll just go back, go to the debug menu. So here we have the debug menu and you need to, you need to look for add items. So the add items should be somewhere here. We have items menu. Okay. So this is the items menu and we have add item here. So you need to just double click that and press control F. So that control F will search the term in the current file and control shift F will search it in the whole uh, scripts. Let's just click on find next and we are brought here. Okay. So I just went uh, and checked something. So in case of add item, what you need to do is just go back to the Pokemon version 18 God mode and just go to the debug menu here. And here you can just find the add item again. And here what you need to do is just go here and copy all of this inside the add item uh, menu. So copy all of that. Go back to the game. Select all of the things that are inside the add item. Paste whatever was copied. Click on apply and then you can just go to the next one. So what we did here is basically added this particular thing, which will just check whether or not the new item, uh, the ID selection is selected or not. If it is not, then we are using the old style. If it is, then we are just going for Pokemon IDs. Next up, we are going to change the things for the Pokemon selection. So we are going to search for our Pokemon. And here we have the function PB choose species list. Just double click that and press control shift F and just start the search. 
after that you need to go to one of the editor screens where you can see uh, you need to search for the def one so we have this one oh we can also do one thing just double click that Control shift f and go to the beginning and just type def now you can just go to this particular thing and here what you need to do is just uh, go one line below do an if pb new select style then what we need to do is return pb choose pokemon id end so what we are doing is wherever this particular function is being used what we did is checking whether or not a new id style is selected if it is then we are using the new id style and returning the value we also need to do the same for the moves which are just below this so you need to you don't need to go somewhere else so this is the one pb choose move list again just go to the first line press uh, paste whatever was copied from here and then change the pokemon to move and apply and also you need to change one more thing so in case of um the one that is inside the um what's what's it called so the debug menu inside the pause menu so we have the party debug menu so you need to just search for the pre-screen party okay so this is the one so you need to go for this one then search for debug cmd debug okay so we are also going to this next next okay so this is the one so we need to search for this okay i meant to do Control shift f and here we need to look for the def pb pokemon debug command so this is the one just go to jump and here you will see the species so you need to search for the species so i'll just search for species species form so you can see this one let's just go to the species form here we have found the species form now inside this we have the set species so we need we need to go to this and here you can see this particular function so we have pb choose species list press ctrl shift f on that add def in the beginning start search jump to that and as you can see the function is the same for that as well so you don't need to do anything here but you did uh have to do something in pokemon uh essentials version 16 so in this case you don't need to have to do anything else now i think we need to uh, check for this also so i'm just going to do a control shift f for this and let's see if we have the function so okay no we don't need to do anything else okay so you can just press okay control save and let me just check whether or not we have done everything so item is done pokemon is done move is done so once all of that is done the god mode is ready to use i'll just save it one more time just go back to the games folder start game press alt to use the god speed so god speed is working now next up i'm going to check for f6 so f6 is also working no info needed I can go back using f6 and next we need to first of all press f8 so that the species ids and rest of the ids are created and after that we can just press f7 start the debug and check whether or not the item menu is working or not so add item input id so i'll just add 21 red apricorn is added this is working let's see if we are able to add a pokemon so this is also seems to work metapod no yep it's working so i think everything in the game is working now once you have extracted the ids once you can see there's a new folder here so the ids have been extracted once that is done you can just go back to the game go back to the systems p system p systems and then remove this comment and remove the function so you can just click on apply okay save you only need to extract the ids once after that the god mode is ready and that's pretty much all i wanted to share in this video next up is going to be version 18